Hello and welcome to this book review on the picture book Zebra Came on a Boat, written by Liz Lofthouse and illustrated by Robert Ingpen. The story is a third person narrative account and tells of the turbulent journey undertaken by a young girl called Zebra, who with her mother is fleeing from their home in an undisclosed war torn country to travel to a new unknown land on an old soggy fishing boat which creaked and moaned as it rose and fell, rose and fell across an endless sea. It is the tale of hope and freedom with the Australian author effectively using figurative and evaluative language in both past and present tense to depict the desperate, uncertain and emotional passage of evacuees, drawing from the real-life experiences of Afghan refugees now living in Perth. The images created by Ingpen complement the text with authentic watercolour pictures that also communicate the book's themes, and together the text and images provide a rich multimodal piece of literature. Set entirely on a boat in the middle of the ocean, Zeba's memories provide a mental escape to happier times as she recalls the familiar smells, sounds, images and people who are no longer within reach. In contrast to the descriptions, the crowded hull, the sea roared and thrashed, and the murky Zeba sea. Zeba remembers the smell of rich spices, the cool mountain air, and her father's peaceful face. These positive recollections turn as the rising tensions increases and as the cool wind blew across the swirling sea it triggers memories of cold winter nights at home and the conflict that leads to Zeba and her mother fleeing into the night without her father. The narrative structure follows the typical sequence of orientation and complication. However, Loft House presents a non-traditional ending as there is no resolution. Instead, Zeba and the refugees remain in limbo on the boat. Character analysis is limited to the thoughts and feelings of Zeba, with her mother's perspective portrayed through eyes full of hope, and the intimate social distance offered in the images. The reader is positioned externally, an examination of the grammatical features and figurative language identifies a high use of nouns and noun groups. Additionally, effective employment of describer and classifier adjectives creates descriptive noun groups to draw on the reader's own experiences and interpretation of the evaluative language used. Verbs are used minimally, with the majority being action verbs. There is a single simile of her lullaby sweet as honey to extract a connection to the reader's bond with their mother. The story has a mixture of simple, compound and complex sentences with dialogue absent until the second last page. This is when Zeba's mother whispers Azadi or freedom. The inclusion of Zeba's native language and the reader's English highlights one difference between the audience and the refugee girl. The careful selection of words throughout the book is evident with the repetition of the boat rose and fell, rose and fell across an endless sea on the first and last pages. This emphasises the missing resolution to the story. Placement of written text is to one side of each double page spread with a clear, medium sized font that complements the detailed and realistic images positioned on the opposite page and often around the text. Image engagement is offered without direct eye contact, with the exception of two instances. This is when direct interaction is demanded. Ingpen's images are at level with the audience delivering medium and long shots to place the reader as an observer. Significantly, extreme and standard close-ups are utilised with images relating to high emotion. A range of warm, vibrant colours have been used to promote realism, with dark colours representing distressing times. There are times when the images are less salient and difficult to distinguish from their background. Interestingly, the first and last double pages are again replicas, with the images of each boat being identical and perhaps indicating a lack of advancement in their journey to freedom. Overall, Zebra Came on a Boat is a powerful story that relates to a current global issue of refugees seeking asylum in Australia and the world. 
The themes of hope and freedom are distinct, with contrast to Zeba's life presented as it once was and within the darkness of her memories. Harmony is achieved through the combination of Lofthouse's written, written text and Ingpen's visual images. Again the, effect, again, the effective use of a figurative language and a valuative language in present and past tense illustrates the emotional and turbulent journey undertaken by Zeba and the refugees. Ingpen's authentic images increases connection with the audience as the reader is engaged through the images, offers and demands. Zeba Came on a Boat is a compelling story that provides many learning opportunities within the classroom and beyond.